I'm really excited about today, Casey, because we've been meaning to do this, what, over six months, we've been meaning to have a chat with you. Yeah. And we wanted to do this to add value uh, to our page. Mm -hmm. The plan was to always get more educational. Yeah. And I think we're ready for that. So we'd love to uh, have a chat with you today and find out what we can do to help our builders with their social media pages. Awesome. So I think it's almost setting the same mindset to your social media as you would for a building project. So you wouldn't just go out on site and just start building all together. You know, you'd kind of step back, set a plan, set timelines, you know, use your knowledge and create a bit of a step-by-step -step process to help you build your projects moving forward. So I think the same kind of thing can be used for social media is kind of sitting down, having a plan, setting a goal. A lot of time people are just posting because they think they should be posting, um, but they're not really sure what they're doing it for. So whether that's more leads, um, getting more people aware of what your brand is, or just a place where you can show your before and afters. Just before having that. Before and afters are awesome. I, I even love seeing that. And I think clients like to see that as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's so powerful as well. So if you have that clear goal, it makes it a little bit easier to plan how you're going to execute on that. And a really great way to kind of get a little bit more information, especially if your builders have more than 100 followers on Instagram, they can go into their insights tab on Instagram and have a look at what previous content has worked well in the past. So, you know, maybe the way that they've presented a before and after, maybe it's a certain type of video, maybe it was a post that worked really, really well. Use that information and create a plan in advance and it takes the stress off thinking about what to do and knowing what to do moving forward as well. Yeah, 100%, that's really good advice. Mm -hmm. And I think as well, a lot of people, when it comes to their social media, get into that kind of post and ghost phase as well, so. You, you know. see that, you see people like, even even during one day, they'll flood it yeah. with all their content and then they'll post nothing for a week yes. or two weeks. Exactly, and that was one of our big pain points or the things that we saw a lot before we started Insider was that a lot of people, we don't necessarily need to tell them why social media is important anymore. I think a lot of people and a lot of builders understand how important social media is. It's basically like the modern day business card. It's a way to showcase your work. Exactly, yeah. and so people know it's important, but they don't understand necessarily how to use it. So they might invest in a video or invest in some content and then post it at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday when everyone's at work or out and about and wonder why they didn't get the results. And it's yeah. just that lack of um, understanding or planning that can ultimately hurt your results. So I think a lot of what comes down to social media is almost taking a step back and as you know, tough as it might feel, having to do a little bit of planning, it will save you in the long run because you've got that strategy set up from the get-go. Yeah, that's great advice. Mm -hmm. If you're literally at the point where you feel like you don't really have a lot of time to give at all. There is the option of outsourcing and a lot of what we do, it doesn't require a lot of the builder or your team's time. We can act pretty much as flies on the wall, document things. We don't always have to do stuff to camera or interviews like this. Um, there's a lot of different things that we can do with content. Come in and take photos and someone doesn't even have to be on site. So. There is a lot of different ways that you can get a lot of content without necessarily using up a lot of builders' time, which I think might be a bit of a misconception too, that you have to give up so much of your day or stop work or you know really set aside this big chunk of time to get a lot of things done, but you'd be surprised how much you can create with a good plan. 100% <laughs> and that is it, because otherwise you're just wasting all this time yeah. trying to figure out how to put it together. Yeah. So the planning is definitely key. Thank you.